Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a start menu to your scratch game. So let's get started. So when you're making a start menu for your scratch game, make sure you make it attractive and colorful. And add some animation to make it more cool. So this is my start menu, Red Runner. So this is a sample start menu. So let's start coding. So we just need one sprite to make this whole start menu. So I have this game backdrop and a sprite called icons with the text and three buttons, the shop instruction and play button. So you could add any number of buttons you want. So I have three buttons and one text. So go for events, when green flag click, we need to broadcast a new message for green flag click. And then we need to hide. And when I receive green flag click, we need to make a variable called delete for this sprite only. Set delete to zero and then click on my blocks, make a block called assets, add an input called assets, label number, add an input called number. And then click OK. And then when I receive green flag click. We need to So I have only 4 assets in my star menu so I'll put 4 and number 0 So make sure you put number 0 And then now let's define this block Click on variables and let's make a variable called clone Then we need to set clones to number and then grab a repeat block so repeat assets we need to change clones by one and then create clone of myself oh. let's grab a when I start as a clone block we need to go to front player Go to front layer and then we need to show and grab a if statement. So if clones equals one. Then we need to go to X 14. So these are my X and Y position. So you could add your own and make sure that all the sprites are centered. You can see this plus mark makes you all your costumes are centered. That's really important. And you could change the position by this go to X and Y. And set size to 100. I want my text with the size 100. And then switch costume to text. And now grab a forever. So this is our animation. So this is a long code. Grab a plus and an ABS of and change it to sync. And now grab a times block and another times block. And another one. So 90 thing of timer times 12 times 15 times 5 plus 90. So grab this times over here and then the thing. So 
So it's sin of time at times 12 times 15 and then the whole thing multiplied by 5 plus 90. Okay, now let's test our start menu. So you can see test is full animation. So we haven't called the buttons yet. So let's call the buttons. So for that, just duplicate this. And if clones equals to go to 15 and negative 1 set size to 70 so I want my play button 70 and switch costume to play button and remove this code and now grab a if statement grab a end Touching mouse pointer and mouse down, and we need to wait until mouse down. Wait until not mouse down. So, this is our click detection whether to check if our button is clicked. And then you could broadcast any message you want. So I'll broadcast start because it's the play button. And when I receive start, we need to set delete plus hide. Set delete to zero. Wait zero point one second. It's delete to one. Set delete to one. And now if I test and if you click, it will hide. And when I start as a clone block forever if delete equals 1 then we need to delete this clone so this will delete the clones and would not make our project laggy so now the button animation so for that grab an if else statement and place it in the forever block So if touching mouse pointer, then we need to grab this set size, grab a divide, so grab a plus and then a divide and a minus. So size plus D, divide. by 3 and duplicate and set this to 70 so on the first if touching mouse pointer make sure you increase by 20 or 30 anything so this is our original size which is 70 and our increase size And now, when you hover your mouse on the button, you could see it has this full size animation.
can see our button works so it has this cool animation and we press on it it will hide and delete the clones so that's really cool so if you like this video make sure to give it a like and if you want to get more updates on this channel make sure to subscribe and click on that bell icon and turn on all the notifications and if you find this video useful or interesting make sure to share it with your friends so see you with another awesome scratch tutorial